Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be going through the scavenger pump setup. Um, just going to test out the flow through the TDO4 and also how the scavenger pump pumps the oil from where it's going to be located and if the one way valves add a restriction because of where it will be mounted it is up higher than the sump in the engine so hopefully we won't have to use those one way valves let's see how it goes stay tuned alright guys I've just put the stock drain pipe back on so I want to see how much flows out of it when i got the car running I'll have a an oil pan here catching the oil then pumping it back up into the sump but first we'll test the scavenger pump see how much it actually pumps so just from the sump drain back into itself so we can see the flow all right so i'm just pumping some of the old crappy oil We'll clean out the lines later. But we've got the pump at about the same height that it will be on the car, roughly. So I'm just going to see how it pumps from down low. So I've got the sump height. Alright. Pump's pretty good. You can see that there's water in there. Pump's pretty good. And we'll see how it goes with the one way valve. See if that actually makes a huge difference on how it comes out this end into the re into the main sump of the engine. Let's see if it puts any more pressure on the line. So it may back up the uh, turbo. Alright, so we've got that one way valve on. Let's see how it pumps out. Still pretty damn good. I'd say that's efficient for coming out of the turbo. And we're going to see how much oil actually comes out of the turbo. So we'll just uh, clean these sump drains up so it's not contaminated. And then I'll see how much actually flows out of the turbo. Alright, so I've just disposed of that crappy oil into old one. And my dad will probably check that out at his work. So I'm just going to clean up the drains. I get some clean fluid through these lines. And put some water in the, the Forester. Start it up and see how much oil actually comes out of the TDO4. Alright, I've got some petrol in that bottom one. Just going to suck it up. So clean out everything and dispose of that crappy petrol. Alright, the hoses are all clear. Started flowing clean. Obviously it's not clean in there. But yeah, we'll uh, get water in the forester. We'll start it up, see how much extra comes out. Might even just hook up the the pipe, the hose, straight to the TDO4. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the Forester to charge up the battery. Got plenty of oil in it, so don't worry about starving it. Um, it's only going to be running for probably 10 seconds just to see the flow from the TDO4. I do have that one millimeter restrictor um, banjo bolt. So hopefully it slows it down a little bit. I um, also want to see if it flows out of the intake. So with the with no restriction whatsoever in the drain, I want to see if it flows out. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. All 
Alright guys, hopefully I've got that on camera. A little bit of oil coming out, there was no oil whatsoever coming out of the intake. So I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Next episode I will be putting the scavenger pump up, so mounting that, running the hose back to the engine sump. And at the moment I'll just run a hose to this drain and see how we go, see if there's any oil coming out of the intake. Stay tuned, next episode should be out on Monday. Cheers, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.